All right, listen up. You are going to be learning when the market will reverse and how you can exactly spot when a top or a bottom has been set in the market. In other words, you are going to be learning all the secrets about reversals. And in other words, you are going to be learning my fake tops and fake bottoms concept. In the previous video, we talked about a market maker model and where you can expect a market maker model, etc. This is exactly how a market maker model starts. After this reversal has happened, that is when you can start looking for trades, for actual entries, and potentially even in the reversal itself, you can look for entries. This is what we call a fake top and fake bottom that leads to our ST. ST standing for sharp turn. Now, really quick before we get started as well, we are talking about tops and bottoms that hold. In other words, intermediate term highs and intermediate term lows. So it all connects together. If you understand the market structure video that I made, and if you want a new market structure video incorporating the concepts, then please do leave a comment right now and let me know your thoughts on that. Once you understand that market structure video in combination with your market maker models, in combination with your fair value gaps, in combination with your fake tops and fake bottoms, in combination with your STs, with your reversals, a whole new world opens up to you. So let's walk through the steps of what a reversal actually is and how it forms. The first step in that process is an expected reversal. What do I mean with an expected reversal? An expected reversal is when we approach our high tariff PD rate, where we are expecting potentially that context that we talked about in the market maker model video, where we can expect lower price or expect higher prices. So we are expecting a reversal on the lower time frame. For example, here on NASDAQ, if we move to the weekly time frame, and on the weekly time frame, we saw this weekly fair value gap with that weekly order block, which we were expecting lower prices off of. It's exactly what we outlined as well in the previous video. So that area right there is where we can have an expected reversal. Then, as I mentioned as well, the time frame you would go into to look for your actual entry is not going to be the one minute of a weekly for Vigab, right? No, we are using the one hour in this case. So the one hour time frame for our reversal, for our entry pattern. So here we are on the one hour time frame again. And this whole area, the gray area, is our expected reversal area. Then the next step is, when we have that expected reversal, the next step is, it's showing signs of reversal. And this is 9 out of 10 times going to be a swing failure, but it's not limited to a swing failure. It is a swing failure and a lack of momentum to the downside. And again, that lack of momentum is defined by not having those clear fair value gaps to the downside, lacking the time aspect. That is exactly what we would be missing. So what do I mean with that? This step is important to understand because this step is actually your fake top in this case, because we're looking at lower price, of course, then right there, a fake top would form. The characteristics of a fake top is if we create a fake top, we have all the up candles overlapping everything that is on the right side. So overlapping all the down candles. What do I mean by that exactly? This right here, we have one, two, three, four up candles right there. And we can see that all the up candles are overlapping all the price action that is inside this box right there. That is a typical fake top. And of course, if you would inverse it, then it is a fake bottom. That fake top is important as well to understand. It is not sweeping anything. As in, close price action. So the high probability lags that we talked about in the previous video. That is important to understand. I'm not necessarily looking at price action from the left. We are not sweeping these recent highs right there. How can we know that we are not sweeping them? Well, if the fair gaps are telling us a story right there, then what are they telling us? We are closing above that high, first of all. This down candle right there, that expansion phase of that fair value gap. So the second down candle did not expand below that high again, meaning that is not sweeping. There's clear bullish intention right here. And I'll, of course, go over an example where we do have a sweep and how you can identify a sweep. So this, the characteristics again of a fake top, is those 
up candles right there that are overlapping, you could say. Everything that is inside of those up candles. So this full range of up candles right there has all this price action inside of it, which creates a swing failure and also creates that fake top because that fake top is also not sweeping anything in recent price action. And the recent price action is again, those high probability lags, which we talked about in a previous episode. That is your fake top. Now, is that me picking out that top in hindsight? No, because I mentioned that top. I mentioned that as being a fake top right there. So whenever I refer to that, whenever I refer to, I don't think this top will hold, then in my mind, I have, all right, this is a fake top. And those are the thought processes that I have. That is why it looks like a fake top or a fake bottom to me. So we have expected reversal. We have showing signs of reversal. Again, that is that fake top step. Then we have one more push off of a PD array. So what does that mean? We have one more push off of any discount array that is sitting right there. When people think this is the top, price pushes higher one more time, respecting just simply this lag higher right there. And pushing higher off of any discount rate that is sitting right there can also be, of course, on a four hour time frame. And we push higher one more time off of that PD rate. And then we have the next step. And the next step is sweep and reverse. Now, just to quickly touch on that one more push off of PD rate, that is where you can look to potentially get involved. So you can look to actually target that fake top or fake bottom, of course. And then again, the next step, sweep and reverse. Read the fair value gaps in brackets. Sweep and reverse is when we come above that fake top right there, then the first step is actually perfect right there, that we are not closing above it. Perfect. So we immediately reject above that high. We are sweeping it right there. Sweeping, aka wicking. We wick that price action. We have this aggressive move higher and aggressive move lower. And how do we know that it's an aggressive move higher? Because it's only a wick. Those wicks on the lower time frame are just fair value gaps, aka displacement. Now, the thing is that I mentioned, read the fair value gaps. Do we create a fair value gap lower right there? No, we do not. So do we expect this right there to be the real top? No, because it doesn't create fair value gaps lower. A real top in the market always creates a fair value gap lower, always. So that right there is where we still want to wait. So then we just continue higher, we continue higher. We actually, if we zoom out to the four hour time frame, we can see that on the four hour time frame, we can actually see that we are still coming into that four hour value gap and we just expand higher off of that. And on the four hour, you can also see the beauty of those fake tops right there. Absolutely beautiful. Then back on the one hour right here, we see this price action right there. That again is your beautiful fake top. That is not a real top. That is not how the market tops. And again, reason being for that is because this is one of those ugly highs right there. No momentum downwards. Now, okay, if it did have momentum downwards like this ST right there, then we still have the other arguments where that up candle is overlapping everything in that price action right there. So everything that is inside that box right there it creates that ugly swing failure which is not something you would want to get involved in and then if we follow the steps again we have that expected reversal showing signs of reversal because this is it is showing signs of reversal it is showing signs that it might want to continue lower right there but it's that fake top again where it just doesn't have the momentum it is an extremely ugly top and the reason it is an extremely ugly top is because it lacks fair value gap to the downside. It is taking a lot of candles right there to actually push lower. We have that up candle that is overlapping all the price action right there. That is not a real top in the market. So next step, one more push off of PD Ray. That fair value gap that is sitting right there. Sweep and reverse, read the fair value gaps. So we push higher one more time off of the PD Ray right there. And we sweep that fake top right there. And then we create the real top in the market, AKA your intermediate term high, because this is just your intermediate term high, AKA your ST, ST sharp turn. If we don't create a sharp turn, 
And there's a reason why I created the ST, the sharp turn concept. It is because this is my exact thought process behind it. Whenever you don't have a sharp turn, because the market reverses off of sharp turns. Is this a sharp turn? No, absolutely not. It's a fake top. It's the opposite of a sharp turn. And then read the fair value gaps. That sharp turn creates a fair value gap lower. And can you see how we don't have those up candles right there? overlapping all the price action that is on the right side so what do i mean by that we have those two up candles right there that last up candle right there got swept it is not like if we look at the fake top to the left right here it is not overlapping all this price action right there like this fake top and it is sweeping that recent lag to the left which is just that fake top right there and that is exactly what we would want to see for a real top in the market. Now, again, is this hindsight? No, because in a live session in the Discord, I mentioned that high. I mentioned that high and I said clearly stated that high is likely going to get swept because that is a fake top. That is not how the market tops. And the second thing that allowed me to know that is as well time. Why? We had CPI on that Thursday. There was volatility. And I need you to understand CPI NFP and FOMC create major swing highs and swing lows in the market. Meaning, in other words, they create intermediate term highs and intermediate term lows. CPI, NFP and FOMC are the cause of major reversals in the market. Like we're seeing here on NASDAQ right there. CPI created that top with, of course, the concept fake top, etc. But if we look at actually the low that came into that discount array right there, this low, is that a real low to you? Is that a real low? No. What is it doing again? See that down candle? It is overlapping all of the price action that is on the right side of it right there. It creates again that swing failure and the sweeping of that high. That is, ooh, that is beautiful price action right there on the one hour time frame so this low right there is not a real bottom but we are not expecting a real bottom to set in anytime soon because if we follow the weekly fair value gaps that we outlined that expect a reversal area pd ray to pd ray then we are likely not going to have a real bottom very soon but that is great because then these areas right there are what they are nice targets so when we sweep those highs right there we can go into the lower time frame to target that low because what does that create premium array to discount array which creates what your market maker sell model in that area is where you have your market maker sell model now i quickly want to go over a few more examples as well to drill it truly into your mind that this right there is as well not a real top in the market but this is not having those overlapping up candles right there in that recent price action. Why is that not a real top? Look at the lack of momentum in that top. Is that a sharp turn? Again, it's a very easy question. Is that a sharp turn? Now let me delete all the markups right there just to quickly go over this. This right there, would you say that that is a sharp turn? Just simply using your logic and looking at it without using the definitions that we went over right there. Would you say that is a sharp turn? Yes. Would you say this is a sharp turn right there? Yes. Why? because it's sharp it's a knife it's a knife in the market it's stinging through that liquidity to then go lower that is a sharp turn is this high right there a sharp turn no absolutely not it's a knife that needs to be sharpened the knife couldn't even cut through butter and then with the use of time as well we knew that it was going to sweep that high to then continue lower which is again exactly what i went over in a live stream right there that sweep here we are on crude oil and i want to take you through this thought process the full thought process right here on how i likely knew again the probabilities i don't just know i have the probabilities in my mind that it was going to trade into that overlapping part right there that order block overlapping with the fair value gap and it wasn't going to continue higher off of this fair value gap or this fair value gap or even that small area right there because i mentioned again in the fair value video itself that price can either continue higher off the first part right there of the first fair value gap if it doesn't continue higher off of that there's no reason to come into these fair value gaps 
so it will reach for an overlapping part right there and if we go into the four hour time frame inside that first fair value gap then right there what do we see we see this weekly fair value gap that is responsible for pushing price higher right there this is something you could have actually also gotten involved in off of that four hour value gap right there five minute entry pattern fading that fake top right there after reaching that fake top what do we actually see we see fair value gaps going higher so a lot of people would say oh this is the real bottom right there we are continuing higher we have a lot of fair value gaps higher and i would say yeah you're probably right the only thing is when we have fair value gaps like that going lower an extremely aggressive move lower aggressive move is defined by displacement displacement is just those fair value gaps going lower then i would argue that this right there just created a sharp turn that is a real top in the market which then if we look at the friday close because right around there the market has closed then if we look at the weekly time frame again the weekly time frame created just this wick right there sweeping above that high if price was to expand higher off that weekly fair value gap don't you think that according to the previous video as well price wants to create a new high probability lag higher in other words create a new fair value gap higher and this is the very basics for price to create a new fair value gap higher right there what would it have done it would have created this candle which would have been the expansion phase meaning that it would have closed above at least that high to the left because then this area between wherever the next close would be that would be your new fair value gap higher so this fair value gap does not expand higher does it it doesn't follow through correct so on the four hour these opportunities are great short opportunities to target that low and to target what did we talk about on the weekly time frame the overlapping part that is sitting right there and again that was mentioned in the forecast and that is exactly how you can get to a full bias just using this incorporating all the concepts that we went over this is so strong now the thing as well for an st to be created right there the ideal scenario what we would have to see is if we go back into the four hour then right there what do we see the fair value gaps telling us a story remember the fair value gaps telling us a story what are the fair value gaps telling us in that video i mentioned fair value gaps that are getting disrespected by other fair value gaps those fair value gaps that disrespected the first fair value gaps those are the higher probability fair value gaps that is exactly what you will be seeing when we create a, a real top in the market we see bullish fair value gaps getting disrespected by bearish fair value gaps those bearish fair value gaps are high probability and that is how you can get again an early indication that this is likely the real top for now in the market so next example i quickly wanted to go over right here this fake top that i mentioned that is likely going to get swept in the discord live streams as well once we have a huge sting into the daily value gap into maybe something on the four hour right there then my interest is not really there anymore and i don't really want to go into the five minute to look for an entry right there this is a typical what i believe is a typical fake top right there with the same exact premise now let me show you the context right here on the weekly time frame we came into that weekly fair value gap right there now on the daily time frame we can see that we created a bearish fair value gap right there so that bearish value gap could actually be responsible for pushing price lower now if we go into the four hour time frame first of all you can now see that this daily fair value gap is getting an extremely aggressive reaction higher for some reason when we have that daily value gap it should not have a huge sting into it like this to then continue lower no that is not what should happen then what it also did on the four hour it created a bullish fair value gap which then if i see this during london session on that thursday right there it, this is not something i would want to trade well this is not something i would want to look at for shorts if anything i want to look for longs because i also mentioned right there that this high is a fake top with the same exact thought process expect a reversal showing signs of reversal so a fake top one more push off of pd ray sweep and reverse but 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 this right there is not necessarily where i'm looking 
to have a sweep and reverse, aka create a new ST. It could do it. It could do it. But this is more so where I am looking at to target that fake top right there. So that fake top is my what? My draw on liquidity, which is just if we look at this price action right here, your discount rate to that premium rate, which we talked about, that right there creates your what? Your market maker buy model. Targeting what? That fake top. And that is when you want to step back again. Once we have taken it, that fake top, that is why I always tell you, you need new context. After that four hour, you go down one time frame, potentially on the one hour and you see, all right, what are we doing right there? Can we create that new context? But you don't just keep on longing and taking entries of the five minute. No, context high taken, new context. And then you go read those fair value gaps, etc. Are we actually sweeping that? Are we continuing higher? So here on YM, we did a great breakdown and a great forecast on YM this week on YouTube on the Tuesday live stream. So everyone that is there is exactly going to know after watching the first part of this video, what I am going to talk about right here. Because we had these areas where we had an expected reversal area. So again, there was a reason for us to expect a reversal. You need to understand that I'm not looking at fake tops and fake bottoms everywhere because I'm not trying to call an actual top or a bottom in the market. The way I use or, or when I do try to call a top or a bottom in the market is because I already expect a reversal right there, which is just a PD array, just that context, which we talked about in the previous video. So if you go into the one hour right there, then this week right there, we could see that this was the first expected reversal area. Then we created this high right there. This high created again, that swing failure. It didn't have the iconic overlapping part with those up candles right there, but it did create that swing failure pattern. And it also created what? It created a lack of momentum downwards. Now with a swing failure pattern, what do I mean by that? Swing failure pattern is just when you have that one side of move higher right there and you create very, very sad price action. No fair value gaps lower. You create a swing low right there. That swing low gets taken out right there, but doesn't have to. Again, doesn't have to be a swing failure. When that gets taken out, that is classified as a swing failure. Can you now see why I don't use market structure shifts, but why I just use very simple fair value gaps? Because when we created this right there, this move was a move into what? This four hour fair value gap, which I mentioned right there during the live stream. That is perfectly fine to take an entry off of and then to target what? To target that fake top right there and potentially target that weekly fair value gap. But I also mentioned after taking that high right there, after taking that fake top, don't take new entries because i knew the concept i knew that if it wants to create a sharp turn right there then everything here will not get respected at all and what do you see displacement higher oh this is going higher this is definitely going higher no 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 it's tricking people into the market that is the exact thing you would want to see when you want a real turn in the market this displacement higher yes that is what you want to see and that fair value gap, the bullish fair value gap is what you would want to see get disrespected by a bearish fair value gap, which is what you're seeing right there. So without needing that market structure shift, that ST already told me right there, that sharp turn, that that is a top in the market more than likely. And that is again, what we went over in the live stream where we have the exact same process, expect a reversal, show signs of reversal, so that is again your fake top, your swing failure, but not limited to. Then you have one more push off of PD Ray, which was that four hour fair value gap right there, pushing higher to sweep that fake top. And then we have sweep and reverse, and you're reading the fair value gaps right there. What are we doing? We are disrespecting that bullish fair value gap by that bearish fair value gap. That creates your ST, your sharp turn in the market. And that right there is a real top in the market. So whenever you hear me refer to a fake top, a fake bottom, or you hear me refer to, I don't think this high will hold. This is not how the market tops. This is exactly what I mean. 
I give great insights like these and way more as well in my free money making team newsletter. That is in the link in the description. It is the MMT newsletter free. If you click on that, fill in your first name and your email address, then you can expect some great and advanced insights very, very soon. And of course, if you want to be a part of this and how we know which highs are likely getting swept, etc., etc., all this stuff, but then just seeing it in a forecast, I'll see you tomorrow where you can also ask me any question you would like. So tomorrow, Sunday, 8.30 a.m. New York local time. All right, perfect. Thank you.